Hello, welcome along to Radio Yorkshire, and uh, it's uh, Tom McGuire joined by Danny Parkinson. We're going to be previewing the Grand Final, Super League's Grand Final 2017, Castlewood Tigers versus Leeds Rhinos. Live commentary of the game starts from 4.30 on uh, Saturday. Uh, Danny, big, big game. I can't wait, mate. Honestly, I cannot wait for this one. I almost had something get in the way of this. Um, I was going to be doing the Crystal Maze, right? And it was going to be at the same time as doing the Rumbling Ground. I thought I was going to have to take a transistor radio in. You know, like on the final day, like back in the 90s Headphones for a relegation. Oh, right, yeah, You'd yeah. see that bloke there like that going, oh, hang on, hang on. Sheffield United have scored. We're staying up, lads. I thought it was going to be like that, but it's like, oh, Rob Burrow's gone over. He's got, he's gone over, and I'm trying to solve a puzzle. I like That's the what idea. That's what it's going to be like. I like the, I've, got, I've got it sorted. Now. I'm going to do it in the morning. So, I thought after all this, after watching it, after all these rounds, I'm going to miss the pinnacle of rugby league. I thought I can't miss this. It honestly has so many storylines. It's going to be such a good game. I cannot wait for it. Both Leeds and Castleford are buzzing. And I, I, honestly, I, I cannot wait for this. I cannot contain my excitement, Tom. Well, the game is Rugby League Live 4. Obviously, the most recent game, uh, Rugby League games, come out. Um, we've never played each other on it. We, we haven't. Played, we've played each other on three. Yeah. Bit of a mixed bag. I'm nervous because I'm a Leeds Rhinos fan. You're a Bradford Bulls fan. You're a in the bitter Cassiford. Bradford Bulls fan. You're in the Castleford camp. Definitely. Let's get underway. Yeah, right. let's start so, this, yeah. First off, sold out at Old Trafford. Hats off to everyone who bought tickets yeah. because it is going to be... A landmark fixture. Oh, honestly, I mean, I was thinking myself, you know, I, I might might end up going down, you yeah. know, and and because uh, rugby league events like this are just so special, especially when it's Casper Tigers, it's the Leeds Rhinos. I know it's the historic rivalry is a Casper Tigers and Leeds Rhinos. Obviously, since the Bulls' demise, and you know, obviously, thanks, mate. Sorry, I appreciate it. that. <laughs> um, but ever since the sort of the Casper Tigers have sort of kicked on, especially in the last sort of three years, you've sort of seen this rivalry really taking off again, and. This um, city against uh, Castleford rivalry. I, I honestly cannot wait for it, and I don't think that there is a rugby league venue. I'd say over Wembley that holds it better than than Old Trafford in this country. I think it's the best place for for rugby league. The times I've been to Old Trafford, it, up in the gods. Just the atmosphere is sublime. Oh yeah, and we're just gonna like obviously let the graphics go. It's it's a heck of a season for mm. both sides because. Look at where Leeds Rhinos finished. Yeah, I mean, admittedly, the la- the real story is Casper Tigers, but look at where Leeds Rhinos finished mm. in last last season, twenty sixteen, and you look at where they are now, second and in the grand final. That's great, but Casper Tigers, I think this is theirs to lose, Dan. I, I mean, I agree and I disagree because at the same time, there's always an expectation with the Leeds Rhinos, and especially everything that's happened in Zach Hart with Zach Hardacre in yeah, the last couple of wow. days, that sort of shifts things a little bit for me because I mean, we put it on here as well of of Eden going at the full back position. I think that a little bit of the... I mean, I've seen it on the handicap in the betting markets as well. Leeds were plus eight before the news broke. After the news broke, they were plus four. And I think that expectation's going a little bit towards Leeds now. But I think, still personally, Castleford Tigers might just nick this one, you know? I've just realised the, gr- the grass markings of the NR- N- NRL Grand Final. Nice one, mate. We've only spent half an hour setting this up. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> word. <laughs> you fool. Anyway, it doesn't matter because we're still we're still Old Trafford. We're still at Old Trafford. If we were down to you, we'd be playing at the ANZ Stadium. Oh gosh, sorry, somewhere in Australia. Now, in practice, uh, he has to practice this. Does Tom? No, I don't. He does because he, he. Oh, he didn't go out on the full. That's a shame, that because I was really expecting it to go out on the full. This I'm, first I'm, time I'm conscious of the fact that also the ref. I I like the ref saying. Um, you know, held. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get. A, I feel like a lot of penalties coming my no, way. No, I do as well. To be fair, I I really do play that one through. To be honest, um, but yeah, I mean, it's exciting. This, to be honest with you, that's oh. forward. What oh, isn't? How yes. is that not? That's forward? not forward. That's unbelievable. Obviously, everything that's breaking with Zach Hardick, that's probably got to be the top story that we're discussing now. Yeah. Um, obviously, he. Breach of club rules, whatever that is. Yeah. We don't know what. There's a lot of rumours going around, and they always do at this time. You know what I mean? When there's something like this, there's always rumours that fly about. Usually, it's just a load of rubbish, to be honest with you, when you see all these rumours about. But we don't know what it is. We'll wait and see. Six again. Play on, surely. Go on, Gail. Go on, Gail. It's all happening now. Hey, how come I don't get that? Oh, it was a charge down. Oh, no, but I, I really, I was I was calling for it anyway. Good opening set. Oh, it's not, but we're making metres, son. We're making metres. That's what it's all like. Game of inches at this level. <laughs> um, But, yeah, I mean, everything happened with Zach Hardacre. You've just got to, you know, oh, oh, geez. I can't defend, mate. 
Oh, I thought it was going to be a penalty then as well. And you'd definitely go for the two metre rhinos. Yeah, know. of course I would. I know what you like. I've seen Brabant Dermot put the two up. <laughs> I know what you're going to be going for. I know your tactics, son. I know your tactics. Scoop. Um, oh, no. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, oh, great tackle, oh. Eden. That's what you want at fullback. Well, this is the thing, though. So, Zach Hardacre going out, is it going to be Greg Eden? Yeah, I think it has to be. I think it has to be, personally. I, I can't see it going any other way uh, in that sense, you know? Because who else do you put in that position? You know, that's... Oh, this is where it gets tense. What? Do? There we go. There we go. Hand over. Andor. Might be a very low scoring yeah. affair. We are please, please not good us. at this game. We are not good at this game, that's fair to say. Um, good defence, Rhino. I just can't. I can't attack or defend. <laughs> like Bradford Bulls. Um, <laughs> but I honestly think that... It's got to be Eden, then. It's got to be. It's got to be Eden. Because just looking at the options there, you know, you look at the options for Castleford. And I still think it could throw a spanner into the works. I really do. I really think this will throw a spanner in the works now, you know? Oh, come on. you got to remember also, I see the fact that you're doing this. I know, and it makes it, it just makes it all entirely pointless, you know? Oh. oh, go on, what a sidestep. What a sidestep. Entertain it. Wait, this is the thing is, though, I'm not doing Casper any justice because this is the least attacking, <laughs> like, least entertainment factor ever. Good kick. Good kick, that lad. Good kick. Um, so, yeah, we've taken Zach out for this one, which makes sense, you know? Um... But looking at the Rhino side of things, I mean, did you put it full back? Uh, it well, this is the thing, though. The, the game. Oh, what a hit on Burrow as well. It's a good job it's his last game because he's never playing again after that. <laughs> um, I put uh, Gold in. Uh, Jack Walker's yeah. not in the game. Oh, well, really? And yet Jack Walker is the person I would have started. Really? And also it would be the... Oh, oh, oh. oh he's bottled it. He's bottled it. Um, Jack Walker, if he does make a, a grand final appearance, he would be the youngest... Oh, go on, son. He would be the youngest man to ever play in a grand final. Really? Yeah. That's interesting, that, to be fair, because you obviously see this a lot. Oh, he's getting near the line. He's getting near the line. That's your first. Oh, yes. No! Yes! The Castleford Tigers have got in front. This is what it's all about. Adam Milder, by the way. Adam Milder, by the way. That game against Saints... What an insane tackle and then going up and Oh, I think it's as well that where the camera angle looked at it, it comes out of nowhere. It comes out of absolutely twice. nowhere. That's what I do, mate. you gotta, <laughs> you got to make sure you're... Um, Scoring. <laughs> yeah, exactly. you got to make sure you're actually getting it down, you know. Um, there we go. 6-0. We're in now. So we're in now. Quarter of the game gone. Quarter of the game gone. Quarter of the game gone. Uh, now, hopefully, he's going to put this out in the full. I really, I really hope he put this out in the full. Is he going to totally bottle it? Is he going to bottle it? Watkins with the kick. Oh, he's busy bottled this. No, that's a shame. Not far from it. That's a shame. Um, um, but yeah, so I've gone. I would have gone with Walker at the full, full back, but it's uh, Ashton Golden. That, uh, yeah. Please saw that out big Ant studios. Um, yeah, no, I, I know what you mean there because especially with, I mean, I I think there's a debate there. There is a debate yeah, there, and is. especially today on the Radio Yorkshire Day Times, I was talking about it and actually asked people to let us know, and it was split because the experience you could yeah. use with Ashton Golden, you know, that's one thing that I think could be pivotal yeah. this time around. The thing is, though, he's experience. not got experience at a grand final. That's the thing as well about Zach Hardacre. He was one of the few in the Castleford camp with grand final experience. Yeah, that's true. That That is actually very true. Um, so interesting to see what happens now. It really is. Oh, you nearly got to me then. You nearly got to me. Ooh. Hi! <laughs> that was high, that. That was I thought I was going to take his head off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my word. I know that's a game, but even I felt that. Jesus. I'm just glad we get a sim bin for that. Honestly, I thought for a second that I didn't, I didn't knock it out. But anyway. That would have been something special. That would have been something special. No, oh, come on, Rob Burrow. I, like, no. I, mean, I know you're going to make these sounds as a Rhinos fan at the game as well at the weekend. Oh, hold him back. Hold him back. Hold him back. Oh, what? yes. Come on. This is great defence. Great defence. Well, we've got a trophy. Oh, that's nice. Oh, high. this is what it's all about. How was that high? That's a good tackle. Good tackle, that. Oh, no. Power if, over, if power over, power over. over. Held, held up. up, held up. Held up every day at week, that. What? It's We're going to the video round. I love the way single walk straight through. Try. Is it, is it a try? It's a try! Get in! That's annoying. That's annoying. 
Is that, is That's that, a try. Yeah, it's well. It's really hard for this game though, because yeah. a lot of arms go through arms, you know? <laughs> Thing is, as well, Singleton, I reckon, will have a great game because if if the semi if the semi final was anything to go by, he had a champion game. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I thought he'd mess that up for a second. Only twelve power. It. Just a oh, slotted over. Just slotted over. Taking he the two. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Um, well, yeah, I'm looking forward to this game. Sick I'm really looking old. forward to it, and I hope it is as close as this. Maybe with some better quality rugby league on offer <laughs> than what we're managing to do, because so far. This is not good quality rugby league. It's not good quality footy. Uh, while we're at it as well, bit of a plug. I spoke to the um, Man of Steel, uh, Adrian Bowles, uh, on the Radio Yorkshire. I should probably do this while I'm attacking. Uh, Adrian Bowles uh, on Radio Yorkshire today. And if you want to catch up with that, audioboom.com slash Radio Yorkshire, you'll actually find it on there. And I would give it a listen. He talks about Zach Hardy, he talks about Luke Gale. So perfect timing, really. Perfect well. timing, really yeah. Na- a, a, probably a good little pre-grand final yeah. uh, treat. I think so, yeah. If you know, if you want something to listen to while you're going to Old Trafford, that's the thing to do. It's more than 10 minutes, so, you know, maybe put the Daytime's podcast on there Why well. suddenly Carl Abler <laughs> got the ball? <laughs> I've given it to my set playmaker. It's Carl Abler going to kick it out. That's true. In my own 30. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm happy with this. You've got a great out. field position here, Dan. You need to Definitely do something. Out. I know, I really do. Oh, oh! Oh, go on! Oh, so close! If I get a try here, uh, that's it now. That's it. Oh, no! Go on, son! Get it over! He's I held up that. Unless he goes... What? Oh, are you... Uh, penalty. Are you serious? Yeah. Because there's only, like, four minutes on the clock, isn't there? Oh, I can feel the vibrations are going now. He can do this, though. He can do this. Slot it over. <laughs> Slot it over. But I, I'll, I'll take the lead into half time. I'll take the lead into half time. The thing is, and whenever I go for a penalty on this as well, it just reminds me of the twenty fifteen million pound game where oh is this gonna go out in the fault? It's not. <laughs> I just love putting under pressure with it though. Um But yeah, I I'm I'm still I'm still nervous and I'm not even up oh, kicked a touch. Three minutes left. Is he going to absolutely bottle this? We'll wait and see. That's a good kick, that. That's a solid kick, isn't it? You can tell I'm annoyed. You're I'm not so speaking. annoyed I'm as not well. Speaking. You're not speaking. Right, come on. Oh, come on. Right. Where are we here? Oh, even I'm nervous for this. Elsewhere, mm. around in, regarding the uh, Castleford Tigers lineup, you've got obviously drop goal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this could be the best thing ever. Oh, it's not. That's a shame. Do you like my drop goal? <laughs> oh my god! Ah, it'd have made no difference in the no, score. Not really. But well, not well, really. You know, it, I, I don't know. Imagine that going at half time going at nine six. <laughs> Imagine, imagine <laughs> Daryl Powell's face with it. Yeah, Luke Gale. Like, why did you, why did, why did you do it? Yeah, why did you do that? It's the Eight man. six. Um, I mean, if it, if it's like it was the Magic Weekend game, mm. and it's quite that tight, we'd be thinking, yeah, not a bad game. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of hype going into this game, and uh, I think so far we haven't really lived up to it. But you know, no, we we're haven't. terrible PlayStation and players. If you are the watching. Rugby league for the first time. The Casper Tigers will play a lot better than this with a Hopefully more entertaining Leeds brand of rugby league. In all honesty, um, I thought you were going to break through then with a more entertaining brand of rugby league, which I haven't been able to do justice in this game. No doubt about that. Oh, what is this? Oh, <laughs> a tackle! Matt Parcell. What are your favourite players there as well, Tom? Yeah, I do like Matt Parcell, but you can see the sort of the only real addition to the Cas- uh, to the Rhinos squad this season and he's been fantastic hasn't yeah he? no it's true he has been great there's no doubt about it I after Sagiaro went as well I was thinking oh <laughs> nice one for the tackle there I was thinking you a lot are going to be in trouble here yeah you know I really did because you, you were poor the season before you don't have many yeah. additions I thought you might not be in the uh, the top 8 there so oh, oh, oh god you're having a nightmare with this he's having a nightmare with the kicking game well that's the thing though it might make the difference it could do you know that was that was the kevin sinfield um won many grand finals because of <laughs> many his grand finals yeah he, no it's true though he did he did and it's going to be interesting oh Oh, some, some all right yardage here yeah. some all right yeah i love the idea of the comments we can't see them at the moment just being full of this is the worst game of rugby league I've I'm ever so seen. much better than you. Yeah. Well, if you you will be. 
<laughs> but come and work here then. <laughs> <laughs> You're just offering people a job, mate. I can't do that. Sam. Yeah, you can't do that. It's not. It's you not can't do I'm that. Not, I'm not that person. Don't you go are. for a drop goal. I'm not going to go for a drop goal yet. <laughs> May do it later on though. I thought it was a penalty then. The camera angle went really strange. Oh, offside. What? What? I wasn't. You're offside, mate. You're offside by a mile. Are you serious? He's going to set Siri then? Yeah. Oh, my God. Because then he's going to put all the pressure on you to convert. Oh, I'm really nervous now. Yes! Good Lord, I thought you missed that for a sec. Oh, 10-6, Tom. Plenty of, time. Plenty of time. It could all come down to... I'm also keeping all the possession away from you. This is what I'm planning that's, to do. That's, is it out the fault? Well. It is working. Stop it's a shame saying. it hasn't done that, though, to be fair. Because you did that in the practice game. And yeah, I, really I know. You keep again. mentioning it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, what about other key game makers? Um, I think, uh, obviously, the, the, the sort of defensive... I think Leeds are a great defensive side, actually. Yeah, no and doubt about it. They're a bit it. underrated on that. And oh, if, they, yeah. if they manage to hold off the Castle for def- if if you can beat a Castle for Purple patch, then you might win a game. Yeah, that's true. That that's true. Um, I think Luke Gale could make the difference. Oh, I think honestly. I expect him to. Um, I think the odds are so short for him being man, man of the match. Yeah, yeah Harry, Harry, Harry Sunderland trophy winner. Yeah, uh, I think if he if he managed to do that and Man of Steel in the same week, that's a remarkable. Remarkable. What a kick! That is huge. <laughs> that is absolutely ma- what? what? That's a knock on. Surely it's a knock on. No. Oh, I thought God was going to win it for you then. Oh, that was a nightmare. That was an absolute nightmare. Oh no, no. Oh, tackle! What a tackle! tackle. That was a game-saving tackle right there. So we're not told as much as we probably should be. I'm so nervous. Oh. <gasps> Oh no! Knock on! Yes! Knock on! Yes! That's made my day, that has! What? <laughs> <laughs> I was in! Oh, that's. Oh, I'm fuming! Great day, Good this. Good lord! Right, Alderman, this half, boys! <laughs> they can't hear me, I don't know what I'm I saying. I was going to say. Oh, I'm, I've never hit a I know, PlayStation you can button hear. with such vigour. You can hear everything that's happening with your controller there. I didn't even see the knock on either. That's, I didn't. I didn't. I thought it was going to go for the. If, if you're a Rhinos fan and you're fuming, let us know. In the let comments. us know in the comments. Uh, by the way, commentary of the game, uh, four thirty on Radio yes. Yorkshire. Uh, it's uh, Matt Horton, Gary Schofield, and Richard Shaw Wright. Uh, best build up to uh, get you ready for the grand final. Trust just in us. case you can't make it to the game. Yeah. You know, just in case you can't make it to the game. All right. Here we, are we going to get another hoof? Hopefully so. Oh no! Oh yes! Cheers for picking that up, lads. What? How many offloads? Can I again? Can Not I one again? of them forward either. Come on, ref. Sorry out. <laughs> James Child's ref, by the way, as well. Is it? Yeah. I mean, what do you make of that appointment? Um, I'm not too fussed, really. I yeah. think he had a good semi-final. Yeah, he did. He did, to be fair. Oh, I thought something had happened. Sometimes when make... it goes a bit slower, I always think something's happened. I might need here. to make some interchanges here. Yeah. I don't know if you're not beating me either, because my defence has been woeful. Like, really bad. Forward. Forward. Wasn't forward. <laughs> I'll call for it. It's forward, Ganson! Forward by a mile! <laughs> oh, I miss those days. When Bulls were in the Super League. <laughs> I can't bring it up without rugby league without mentioning the Bulls occasionally. High tackle. Um, what are you going to do, mate? What are you going to do? Ooh! That's weird. I think you're just going to keep it. Hmm. How's that one gone? Here we go. Oh, you're all right, I think. Oh, this is it now. This is your chance, Tom. High tackle I thought again. that were high as well. Good Lord. Lord. Uh, to be fair, a lot of high ta- a lot of tackles look high on Rob Burrow. Yeah, it's true. We gotta get him down. Oh, come on, nerves come now. On, come on, come on! <laughs> how slow is that play of the ball? <laughs> My God! You can tell how nervous we are here. Oh, Good third Lord. tackle here. Third tackle here. What a tackle. Come on! <laughs> God! You tell how nervous you are here. Pass it out further! <laughs> Last God. tackle. Held up. No, he scored. He scored that. <laughs> right. 
Rugby League is a family game. I'm so annoyed he scored that. Yes! He scored that. No. My Parcel. Oh. Oh, oh no, it's Parcel as well. <sighs> Miss it. Miss it. Miss it. Don't you Miss dare. it. Don't Miss punch it, me. mate. Stop Miss punching it, mate. me. Miss it, mate. Oh. I was really worried I would then. I know. Ten minutes, come on! Oh, I'm so nervous. Two points. What are you going to be like at the grand final? I've got to behave. You have to, I have like, got yeah, to behave. Because you're going as press as well, know, aren't you? I know, I know. I mean, I will behave. And the thing is as well, right, Castleford, people talk about, oh, you know, it won't mean anything if they don't win the uh, grand final. The League Leader Shield needs more recognition. And the mm. fact is they've been the most consistent and the best team to watch all season long. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Single and just send, sending people uh, here, there and everywhere then. All right. What? Oh. All right. What? That was a weird passage of play. I just couldn't be able to tackle it. You just grind the clock down, boys. Oh, I'm so... Honestly, if this is the result, I'll be so upset. Even as a Bulls fan, I'll be upset. What, you mean in real life or just this in game? In real life and this game. Oh. Stevie Ward, we're not even touched on Stevie Ward. Obviously, uh, <laughs> he might feature. Yeah, it's true, that. It's true. <laughs> I love that dive that I was nowhere near. Oh, here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Oh! Oh! Right then. Yes! Oh, my word. I'm so nervous. Uh, you're nervous. I've never been this nervous. Not since 2015's billion pound game. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop mentioning it now. Come on, Cass. Come on, Cass. You know what to do. Oh. No. No. Oh, what's he doing? I, I don't know. <laughs> what is this game? Go on. Net, another set. Another set. Another set. He's held. He's yes! Yes! No. <laughs> no. No. Oh, oh wow. I'm gutted about that. I am absolutely gutted. That was the worst ending to a game of rugby league that might ever happen in the history of the world. If that happens, the, it's just got sense. Just give them the trophy if it ends up like that. You know what I mean? Even though Leeds win. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, mate. I am so gutted with that. Wow. So and there we go. Oh, it's just as painful as it was in 2004. Anyway, so Leeds Rhinos in our prediction. I think a lot of people are saying that, you know, Castleford are going to do it and you can't, I know people say you can't write off the Saints, but you can't write off Leeds Rhinos at all traffic. No, you can't. You can't. They've got a lot of experience there, you know, and I just feel that the Castle edge it for me. I think it will be a close game, though. I think it'll probably be more more entertaining than that. More ours. entertaining than that. Well, that if was... you have suffered through this, let us know your score predictions in the comments below. Dan, I think, obviously, we talked about some of the storylines, but we're focused on the gameplay a lot. What are you... Other other things you look forward to. Well, you've got to be looking out for obviously Danny Maguire and and, and Burrow yeah, there we didn't as even well. Touch on that, right? And I think a lot of them as well. You're looking at Luke Gale going up against um, the Leeds Rhinos. Obviously, Daryl Powell, Powell uh, against McDermott, the Leeds Rhinos. Wow, you know yeah. what I mean? Powell against McDermott there as well. And I just think that's it's all to play for. I don't think you could have set up for a better grand final. I'm out of so all excited. Of them. I'm so excited. You're excited. I'm excited as well. Well done. Thanks, man. No worries, mate. Join uh, Gary Schofield, Matt Horton, and Richard Shaw Wright. Gary from Schofield's Thursday. there as well. Yeah. Well, you got to listen to Gary Schofield. It's going to be great. You got to listen to the legend. No, and um, yeah, you can join them from four thirty. Best build up here on Radio Yorkshire. And don't forget, they're going to be reviewing it. Two hours of proper rugby league chat every Monday with RL and RY. But for now, have yourself a lovely day, everyone. Up the cast. Up the cast. Never. Rhinos. And the bulls. <laughs> <laughs>